Welcome to the Warframe Weapon Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Burston. You can get the blueprint for the Burston from the market, and it's one of the cheapest weapons you can get from there. The Burston doesn't have any mastery rank requirement whatsoever, and it's unsurprisingly a primary burst rifle that fires three rounds with every burst. Now the damage it does is split equally between impact, puncture and slash, and it has pretty low crit, but actually decent status. The Burston is also very accurate, but it unfortunately kicks quite a bit with every burst, so you you will have to compensate for that to not miss most of your shots, especially if you're going for headshots. I would actually just recommend you go for body shots instead with this weapon and just sort of let it kick up naturally because you really have to compensate for each burst. Now since the Burston doesn't have a mastery rank requirement and it's also very cheap, your first setup when you finally get it is most likely going to be something like this where you just use whatever you have on hand and it's mostly just going to be a little bit of damage with maybe a bit of status on the side. This is the kind of build you're going to be making your way through the start chart with and honestly it's more than enough, it actually does a decent amount of damage and if you put rifle aptitude in there you're going to have some decent status as well. And it's also where 99% of the people that pick up the Burston will stop because there is really no reason to invest anything more into the burst and because you get it at a point where if you want more performance out of your weapon you just build a better weapon. However, if for whatever reason you really want to invest into the burst and even though I would not recommend it, this is the kind of build you want to work towards. And it's basically just more status, a little bit of extra multi shot and some extra fire rate as well, though if you want more clear potential on the weapon you want to replace vigilante fervor with either shred or prime shred. This kind of setup will happily carry you through the entire star charge, do pretty much all the fissure missions and some early sorties as well, but that's pretty much where it will stop. But honestly that's not too bad for a weapon that doesn't have a mastery rank requirement and is also cheap as chips. I'm personally not a massive fan of the Burston, the gameplay just isn't my kind of thing, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad weapon. It mostly suffers from low base damage, it has some of the lowest base damage of all the burst rifles, but at least all the damage types are represented equally, which means it will perform somewhat well versus all the factions, which is a good thing when you're first making your way through the star chart and you're fighting different factions all the time. And the second downside is the low crit, that's pretty much it, the status is actually great, especially if you invest into it a little bit, you're gonna be spraying the enemies with status, which is pretty cool, and at the end of the day it's just an early game weapon that's supposed to let you know whether or not you like burst rifles. So try it out and see for yourself. And that's pretty much it, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.